Is that Tony? Athletic guy. <laughs> that is Tony. <laughs> hey, Tony, we're just talking about well, you. What's hey, up, Tony? Tony I was How y'all doing, brother? We all yeah, good. Was, go ahead, Ant. I was just saying, hey, you fight for Andorra, that's going to be hell of a night. I think he might get you out of there. That's literally what I said. I'm going to keep the same energy. I ain't going to lie. Right, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's what's good, Tony? We we hey, listen. Um, I I I, I ain't nowhere near sensitive, man. I'm not. I ain't no sensitive bone in my body. Are right, you knew oh, yeah, that? You're from Detroit. <laughs> no sensitive. However you feel about it, however you feel about it, my guy. Hey, listen, man. man. Congratulations, big dog. Thank you, family. Thank you. I, I was I was super excited uh to see you uh perform the way that you performed last night. Uh Royce the Five Nine is my guy, and of course, y'all both being from Detroit, I had to make sure that he was watching the fight. I said, yo, if if there was ever a time for you to be proud of Tony is right now, make sure you cut it on. And he and he and he went and, and turned on the tube to uh to check you out, make sure you you know, check you out while you was doing your thing. Yeah. How was preparation for the fight? Uh, it was it was it was it was great to be honest. It was great. I had the best sparring. Um, I had the best best toughest sparring, man. So, I mean, it definitely was a shout out to all my guys: uh, Charles Conwell, Isaiah Steen, mm. Joe Hicks, and Barney Harrington. All them guys undefeated, knocking shit out. And um, like I said, man, they they had like like preparation was key. So those guys pushed me to the max, and my my like I said, my preparation was key. So. I ain't, I ain't had no complaints at all. Six hey, months away from the kids too, huh? Well, I mean, I mean that that wasn't by choice though. Yeah. That wasn't. Yeah. You know what I mean? That, that, that was by you know. Yeah. I mean, everybody that got a baby mama kind of know what I'm going through. So. <laughs> we get it. Go ahead. Hey, are, are we gonna get? Are we gonna get uh, Harrison Charlo three? I feel like you don't want to give him hell. It's one one. You gotta wait on it, brother. You gotta wait on it. You gotta wait on it. Not nobody else. You do. Okay, I got you. <laughs> I'll be there no matter when it happens. Is that is that the fight? The probably the the best fight you feel though, Tony, for you in the division, or is it like bring Tim Zhu on, bring Fundora on after what he did last night? What do you think, Tony? Oh man. Uh oh. He said, I think nothing about it. I'll see you later. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Can you hear me? I don't know. My yep, yep, yep. Up. Yeah, we hear yeah, you talking. Yeah. I said, yeah, for me, man, it's just like, it's just like, I, I, don't, I don't want nothing that, 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 that's, that's meaningless to me. You know what I mean? So it's just got to like bring me the fight that's going to mean something. Um, right now, I, like I said, for me, the child on fight means everything to me personally. That's, that's like my personal favorite. But, you know, you got guys like Tim Kazoo that, that, that can mean something for legacy. So, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like, for me, it's just like bring on something that's meaningful for me. Yeah, like, you, you know, Tim, he's every, everyone thinks he's good and he's strong. But when you see how he, he comes straight forward and you could take advantage of that, Tony, if we see that fight down the road. I would, I mean, like, like I said, that, that fight was already in the world. That was, that was already a confirmed fight at one mm -hmm. point. So. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like that was that was a fight that I that I had already agreed on. So it was it was his side that that's why it didn't come off in, in the past uh, already. Well, 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 it was like it was like a fight where where they they sent me the contract and I confirmed. I, I told him, yeah, I do it. You know what I mean? And it was like during COVID, and you know Australia was one of the more stricter stricter countries when it came to COVID. So it it came down to like training situations where. I couldn't leave my house. I, could, I couldn't, like, go to no gyms. I couldn't bring no sparring in. And it was just, like, all the odds was against me to even get right for the fight. So, mm. you know what I mean? The situation of COVID kind of turned that down. Now, it wasn't it wasn't a, a, a his side or my side. You know what I mean? Because it, it was a green on his side and it was a green on my side, too. So, it was more of a COVID. It was, it was, more, it was, it was more COVID uh, regulation that stopped that fight from happening. Because that's a good-ass fight. It, yeah, it, to, to, to who? <laughs> To, I, you, I'll be, you, I'll be you, honest you, to me. You, you know, I you think buy, it's a good you, fight. You, you, you box, you box his <laughs> ears off for sure. To who? That's what I'm saying, man. You, if y'all just watch that man fight Terrell Gouchet, to who? I'll I, I, I tell you why, Tony. Because, Sean, before before you came on, Tony, it, we were talking about you might be the most skilled fighter in the whole division. But the reason why maybe you wouldn't immediately pick you against a Tim Zoo or Charlo a third time is 
sometimes in the second half of fights, you know, you're not as strong in the first half. And then, yeah. and then pe yeah. people might say he, he don't got the granite chin. And how yeah. do you assess yourself as a fighter? How would you respond to all of that, Tony? Could, you know, with your boxing brain. Dang, I lost him again. I keep. <laughs> I let it happen. You know what I mean? So if I lost, it was on me. If I won, it was on me. If I faded, it was on me. If I stayed strong, it was on me. You know what I'm saying? So it was, it was, it was nobody, nothing nobody else could do to me to beat me. Everything was on me. You know what, Tony? I think at, at, at 154, you one of the few fighters out there that a mass majority of us feel connected to you. Uh, whether that's what you've done inside of the ring or just kind of who you are outside of the ring, your personality, the list goes on. Uh, I, of course, I'm connected to you in a lot of different ways. And seeing you get down the way that you got down last night, I was very proud of you. But then post-fight interview comes and you you never let us down. Ever. And um, essentially, that we was just sitting here, you know, recapping the fights and everything. And I said, you know what? If I got a moment, let me get let me get Tony on. So that he can share again uh, what you said in the post fight about your gym mm -hmm. and also just kind of about, you know, where you are right now as a person uh, outside of the boxing ring. Um, man, for me, man, I'm just like I said, I'm I, I'm, I'm so stay, I stay so, so to myself, man, because just like um, no shade to no nobody that's in a commentator or, or to do a podcast or a personal a, 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 a personal reality type of person, like, like I think I think everybody's job is opinionated. So I just stay to myself. That's why I don't have friends. That's why I have too many cool. That's why I don't be out. I don't go to too many fights. Cause everybody's opinionated. I think y'all job shine for y'all is is a platform to be opinionated. You know what I mean? Like, 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 like real talk. Like it's really like wave hoppers to me. You know what I mean? What's whatever's hot, y'all with it. Whatever ain't hot, y'all criticize it. So. I mean, that just is what it is. But, you know, for me, man, I stay to myself. I'm a real down-earth guy. I, I'm, I'm a real humble guy. Until you push a button on me, that made me unhumble. Um, I just, I give respect because that's all I want to receive. And um, I hang around kids 24-7. Like, I don't, I don't really fuck with adults. I hang around kids 24-7, man. Like, I love them. And I think... Uh, my gym is doing just an amazing job of creating new life and some kids in Detroit, man, that 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 are broken some in some areas, that are not mentally strong in some areas, that that are that are the greatest kids ever. We just need to find a way to push through the resilience of of being in bad places, man. And I think I am the epitome of of pushing out of bad places, man. I, I lost, came back, lost, came back, lost, came back. Mm -hmm. I had a draw with Perella. Everybody say you done. Even shine yourself, shine. Oh yeah, he's done. It's boo -boo. And I come back now. Everybody on my way again. And I don't need nobody to to appreciate the the skill and the art that I already that I already know I got. I don't need no validation from nobody. You know what I'm saying? But that just shows how the world is, though. You know what I'm saying? But in, in everybody's eyes, that's what they're supposed to do. They're supposed to judge me opinionatedly. You know what I mean? So. Uh, for me, man, I just, like I said, for me to just show these kids um, exactly how the world works, you know what I mean? It's going to be your ups and your downs, but this is exactly how the world works. The world is going to burn you when you crash, and they're going to ride you when you fly. So, you know what I mean? Like, like for me, man, just, just, just to get a, bitter, a bigger and better facility for those kids more books, better computers. You know, we still got like 2,001 computers type shit. Like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, just get better computers for them to learn better. Man. Um, Tony, everybody everybody knows me. Uh, and I'm at the point now where I'm retired and I'm trying to do things outside of yeah. uh, boxing. So anytime I see a fighter that's willing to do something <laughs> outside of boxing, I'm going to always support it and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to always... Try to push it forward. When you get an opportunity, what's the so? What's the name of the gym? Right? Is there a web, is there a website to donate? Uh, the, and that's the thing. Like I haven't even like 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 yesterday was just my first day. Just you know, try just trying to shed light on on a problem. You know, it's I mean? super like, bad fitness. Super, super bad, bad fitness. Super bad fitness is the name of my gym. 
And so uh, as as it, things it, start it, to ma- as things also, start to materialize for you, Tony, you you let us know, and we'll always yeah, yeah, make sure, sure. That we we expose for it sure, for sure, bro. And like I said, it's definitely a website for my gym, but. You know, I, like I said, I, I like like I've been needing the roof for five, six years, and I've just never mm-hmm. said nothing about it. But I just think it was the right time for me to shed light there you go. on a problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. this, this was a problem for me, and I just feel like out of my money that I get hit my my and my I get hit my own face for. I, sh- I shouldn't donate my own money to 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 to, to go towards something that I'm helping everybody else, kids and everybody else, people and everybody else family get better at you know what i mean like mm-hmm. i just think like there's so many avenues to to, to fix these this, this roof of mine man and, yeah. you know what i mean like but but but, but through it all though thick and thin every winter every summer every spring we in that motherfucker rain snow, hell snow leaking every we in there and, yeah. and i'm talking about pack and we just gonna walk around a puddle you know what i'm saying so yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? but, but at this point man i'm just like man let's just find a way to just get this done man Cause like i said that's bigger than boxing for me yeah. You know what I'm saying? A place for these kids to call home where they feel secure and they can go in and, and, and sharpen the tools in the, in, in the toolbox up. For me, and just be like, like that's it. It's home for some people. Some people don't have fathers. Some people don't have mothers. Some people have brothers. And, and I think our gym, for, like, it just, it, it, it seals all those things, man. So when I get back home, um, I'm, I'm going to start a GoFundMe, man, because a lot of people have been writing me up and hit me up about it. And I'm, I'm going to put pictures on how the roof look when it, when it's uh, raining and it's pouring in the inside and shit like that so everybody can get a good feel of it. Like I said, this is the eye. But I, I definitely wanted to be like a chitty kid, like we, like we, like, like we begging, but... No, that, that ain't what it is, man. Um, I think I think you, 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 you have... You've done a fantastic job with everything that you have and with everything that you've done in the sport. I agree. And and a part of this sport, people don't really understand, but we everybody's tight knit. Everybody knows everybody is a small community. It's a small family. And with the family being as small as it is, again, I'm gonna use my platforms to help you uh because you now you're the one who needs help. You know what I'm saying? Nah, I appreciate and, and, it, brother. And as it comes, I'm gonna always expose whoever needs help because that's that's what I do. I, I'm a helper, you know what I mean. So um, we, I really again. No, I was just gonna ask, do you want that to be your legacy, Tony? Is the outside that, that's, ring that's, stuff that's with the kids? For, for sure, man. Boxing is like the smallest part of my life. Like, I, like people ask me all the time, when you looking at getting? That? I don't give a fuck if they like when they call me. I I, I start getting ready, but. Until then, man, it's like like it's so many it's so many different problems around my life that got to be fixed. That's that's on the reality check level. Like I don't even like this boxing shit for me. It's just like it's a sport for me. You know, I enjoy yeah. it. It's just, it's it's a sport for me, but it's just, it's the smallest part of my life. You know what I'm saying? That gym for me, man, is is where I want my legacy to begin, at and I want it to end there. You know what I mean? Man. I want to be able to say I changed people's lives, man. That's that's that because that's, that's what the gym did for me. It changed my life. I'd probably be dead or in jail. You see how tempered, how tempered I am. I'd probably be dead in jail if it wasn't for a boxing gym. So I've watched, like it changed I've my watched, life. I've watched, I, I'll tell you this, and also you're one of my favorites, but I've watched the, the Charlo press conference for the second fight no less than 50 times. <laughs> that If you talk about a boxing trash <laughs> talk, all time verbal that's number barrage. one. It's number one. Yeah, man, said, but like I how said, can one brother I, be I, so I, solid? This, 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 but this, this, the scary part about it, like, None of the shit I say is for fake. Like I, I'm not faking. Like it's, yeah. like it's a lot of people you see doing this shit that like it's for entertainment and faking. Like, like I don't even I don't, I don't get on internet. I don't get on the internet talking shit to nobody. Like that's not even my style. Because once it's go time for me, it's go time. Because I don't do all that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like you see a lot of people like Louis Arias doing all that shit trying to get a fight. Like it's fake for him. You know what I'm saying? But when you see me walking up on him, it's real for me. Because if they don't grab me, I swear to God, I'm stealing them. Like. Uh, it's real for me, like mm-hmm. like what they call entertainment. I call beef, like mm-hmm. and it's it's real for me. So mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like 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 uh, it's it's a lot of people that just talk to shit, just talk to shit. But that's not me. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't mm-hmm. I don't talk shit to nobody. So, but that's why I, that's why I give out respect to everybody because I don't want you to disrespect me because I know once disrespect time, this time it's go time, and then then it's gonna end bad for probably you or me. It's gonna end bad for somebody. So. Mm-hmm. All right, big dog. Listen, man. Enjoy your time off. Enjoy your family. Get get back to them kids safely and quickly. God bless you, big dog. Congratulations. Thank Congrats you. Thank you. All right, you got bro. it, man. Peace.
Peace. All right. Thanks to to Tony for coming on. We we were just talking about him, and I wanted the information, but then beyond that, I was like, you know what? I think it would be good for to have him on on our show and let everybody see and hear him right after the fight. Yeah. So that's why I, I, I've said, hey, if he'll come on, he'll come on. We got we had a little few glitches, but it, you know, it's Made part it of the process. Yeah, on, hey, on the fly. Hey, hey, hey! Shout out to Tony, man. Wishing the best. For Absol- sure, absolutely. I'm that's what's up. I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Ant. Follow me on IG at with two T's. Let's do All it. Right, Let's do it again. Let's All do right. it. Again. Just introduce yourself. Okay. And then tell them, and then you tell them what to do. I'm Showtime Sean Porter. I'm Anthony Brenno. Carson A. Merck. Like, subscribe, comment. This is the Porter Way.